Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how you could create a new column by using the measures from two previous columns. So let's say that you have done some calculations and got a table with, with calculations for different columns and then you want to do further calculation based on those columns. So instead of having to recalculate you could just use uh, the table that you've already created and create a new column with your desired calculation. So I'm going to show you what it is. It's, it's a little bit complicated to explain, uh, but the solution is quite simple. So let's say that I have sales here and I have sales year to date. Um, and you want a new column where you want sales minus sales year to date. So you could do it in in the script or you could write a new measure, but if your aim is to show it in a table, well, you could just automatically calculate those two by using the columns that you have already created. And this is how you do it. So first let's, um, let's actually bring, bring them here. So, so now you want to create a new column where sales minus sales year to date uh, would be the value and you would use a function called column. Now the column function only calculates the measure, the columns with measures here. So here city is a dimension. So you wouldn't consider that this would make number of orders as your column number one margin as column number two because these two are measures and sales as column number three and sales year to date as column number four and what we want to do is sales minus sales year to date so this would be column number one two three minus column number four and that's quite important to remember that you don't count the dimension column so we go here, script function, and what we want is column. And you're gonna write the column number. So it's column number four, or was it three? Three minus column number four. Um, and we press apply and you get it here. Um, let's just name it as difference in sales. Just call it number. So you can get a new column with the measures by minusing this, column number three and column number four, and you get a new value here. So that's how this can actually be really, really helpful, especially if you're trying to separate a lot of them based on city and product and customer, um, and you just wanna do further calculation in the front end instead of doing some calculation in the back end. Um, this is quite helpful and I hope that it helped you. So that was a quick tutorial. I hope it helped you. Um, please like and subscribe for more uh, really cool dashboards and click sense, Tableau and Power BI related um, content. Thank you and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.